we've, we've made various attempts to get funding over the years, but it's a strict category thing that they, they won't uh, give uh, lottery money directly to an animal charity, um, which I think is surprising because animals are part of the society. If you can help animals, it helps the, the whole of the community. The problem we've got is that a lot of our supporters think we get lottery money, uh, so that they're less likely to donate to us, and it's only the generosity of the Scottish public that keeps us going. We're totally reliant on the general public, and I mean that is no way to sustain a business. I mean we have got a statutory function in law uh, for protecting animals. We take uh, we put people to the courts and stuff. Now that all has to be bought and paid for, and if you're relying on the generosity of the public, that is not a good way to sustain yourself. Well, all, all it would mean is that we could give better service to the animals that we've got in our care. I mean, we, we work very hard. We've got a budget of just about nine and a half million this year, and that's all got to come from somewhere. If you got a grant of a million a year from them, that would make a tremendous difference. And I mean, a million for the National Lottery is not a huge amount of money. And if the public put pressure on the lottery, they might change their criteria. I mean, everything that the, the lottery does is supposed to benefit humans, but when you see that they give money to, like, say, theatre projects and stuff, I mean, you've got to draw the balance, what's more important. And I'm not saying anything against any of the charities that do receive uh, national funding from the lottery, but I think animals do play a part. I mean, nobody lives in a street that's not got an animal in it. No, the, half, the, half the families in Scotland have a pet, and um, so there is a big part in society that they play.